Hi, welcome to Drill Tip Tuesday. My name is Ko Shakuna and I'm here to guide you on your creative journey as I am on my own creative journey, learning and teaching what I learn. A while ago, my patrons requested me to do a video about drawing a larger or a bigger scene. And this scene can be anything. It can be your living room. It can be a place you visit on vacation. It can be a street, a square around the corner. It can be anything. It might be overwhelming as soon as you choose your spot to draw and then you don't know where to begin. There are many, many ways to draw a bigger scene. So today I want to show you one of three ways to capture a bigger scene. This is a three part series. Well, today I will show you yet another technique so that you have a few techniques under your belt whenever you feel a little bit overwhelmed about what you want to draw and how you envision your drawing to be without too many expectations. Just taking it step by step. Let's go. Welcome back on the same square again in Amsterdam. We are sitting on the same spot, same angle, different approach. Today we are not starting with a line. We are not drawing first, but we are painting first. And that's another way to basically distract yourself from all those overwhelming details and just getting started. And once you have some color on your page, then it's a little bit less scary and you have a lot of guidance, which you gave yourself with the color to actually add your line. It doesn't have to be exactly representing the way the scene is. It's up to you. You are the artist, so you can do whatever you like. If you want to make that building bright red, go for it. It might be really interesting. Of course, the paint needs a little bit time to dry before you can dive in with your pen. I'm using a Lamy Safari pen with a B nib. So that's quite a bold nib, as you can see. And that way I can work quickly and I won't get too much into detail. I'm sort of using that same technique as we used last week, but much looser because there is already a lot of information there with the color. And the color is just slapped on the page quite quickly. So that's not accurate either where it is placed. So if I am drawing this lamppost, I'm not tracing the color that I put down. The color is just guiding me. When the color is outside the lines, it brings so much fun to your drawing. Also, I don't need to draw all the leaves on the olive trees because the leaves are there because I painted them. So I can work fairly quickly, actually. And I'm now also less accurate on those lights than I was in the first drawing where I also included those lights. Working on the background. And I didn't put any color in there, but I can add line. And when I put down that first color, you can see that I actually chose just three colors. The yellow for the building, green for the trees and the grass, and then a brownish, reddish for the road and the lamppost. And that's enough. It gives you enough information about the place. It also gives a balance to the drawing. And your line feels clean and clear and in a very quick way, you describe the place. So this third technique is the quickest technique of the three that I've showed you. You can do it as slow or as quick as you like. You can be more accurate than I was in this drawing, but I do think that you will understand what the basic of the technique is, and I hope you will try it yourself. I hope you enjoyed this series of drawing a larger scene. You might find out that one technique really works well for you and another just doesn't. That's fine. You don't need to do all of those things. It's just really helpful to know that there are different approaches to doing something, to drawing something that you'd like to capture. Good. Next week I'll be back with another Draw Tip Tuesday. And don't forget, I'm also writing a book about drawing. It's not about how to draw, it's why to draw. You know why, because it makes you happy. But sometimes keeping the habit can be really tricky. 
And in my book, I help you to choose your subjects, um, make time, make it a priority, all of that. I'll put a link below the video uh, for more info about my book, because I think you're going to love it. Good, I'll see you next week uh, at another Draw Tip Tuesday video. Ciao!